Hi folks, Max from GalaxyNote3Root.com uh, for this week's uh, SMN9005. If you have an international uh, LT model uh, or if you have a T-Mobile uh, Note 3 SMN900T or if you have a Canadian uh, model, I think N900W8. Uh, also, yeah, T-Mobile uh, SMN9005 and Canadian Galaxy Note 3. Uh, you can go ahead and install XNote ROM. Um, this was one of my favorite ROMs uh, for the Note 2. Excellent developer, uh, XDA user Soloil Maglio from Rome, uh, Italy. This has been making some excellent ROMs. And uh, this is one of his first versions, actually it's version 2. And uh, let me kind of go over. Uh, right now there isn't as many features, but there's still a load of features over uh, the stock ROM. Um, the first thing this ROM does is gets rid of NOx, um, so you'll not have some weird NOx uh, security popping up everywhere. Uh, completely zapped out, and I hate NOx. Um, you know, I don't, I don't think it's for the typical consumer, and I don't know why Samsung included uh, for the consumers. Anyway, uh, pretty nice ROM, and uh, let me go ahead and show you settings. Uh, tethering and portable hotspot. It actually works out of the box uh, for T-Mobile. Um, I've actually got T-Mobile SIM card in my SM and 9005 and also my HSPA working, HSPA Plus working. So that is nice. That's a uh, must have AWS bands uh, enabled. And the portable Wi-Fi uh, hotspot works out of the box because this is a uh, non-T-Mobile ROM. Um, with the Galaxy S4, I've noticed that any, every time I installed a, uh, a non-T-Mobile ROM on my T-Mobile S4, which you can, um, like the Note 3, and uh, my my hotspot works just flawless. And then you know when I go to T-Mobile ROM, sometimes it'll block me or all kinds of weird stuff. So if you need Wi-Fi tethering but you do not need Wi-Fi calling, I would definitely stick with uh, SMN9005 custom ROMs. Uh, and tethering, I've tested on T-Mobile, works just fine. Um, so that's a plus for T-Mobile users if you're going to use it on T-Mobile S3. Uh, but note that you will lose um, your Wi-Fi calling because this is not a T-Mobile ROM. If you go to Device and XNote Settings, this is where you'll find everything organized here. Uh, Multi-Window Manager. Um, the first thing you'll want to do uh, before using any of this is go to Expose Installer, go to Framework, uh, hit install and update and those will turn into green letters uh, and, and then hit the back button and then go to modules and go ahead and enable all the modules you want. The first one is allow long SMS. Um, this prevents long SMS being converted to MMS. Uh, if, you, if you tend to write long SMS messages, uh, enable that and that will allow you to do that. Uh, app settings, this is exposed app settings. I have a full tutorial guide on it, but basically it allows you to uh, run your favorite apps in tablet mode, custom DPI mode. Uh, basically, you can run apps, you know, bigger, smaller. Uh, maybe you can't read the font, you want to make it bigger, uh, or the opposite, you want to be able to see more titles for Netflix app. Um, you'll be able to resize them. Uh, I have a full tutorial guide on that, so check that out if you're new to this. Uh, also, enable call recording. This will allow you to uh, record calls, obviously. And also Greenify, this is exper experimental features for Greenify. Um, if you have the donation version for Green Greenify, you can go ahead and enable that. I am not sure exactly what it does, but um, that's why I didn't mark it. Uh, Multi-Window Manager, this will allow you to add more apps to your multi-window bar. Um, so go ahead and enable the stuff you want, reboot, and then you'll be able to uh, make use of it. Uh, first thing, Multi-Window Manager, what is that? Uh, basically, your multi-window here, let's say you are uh, multitasking between your internet and gallery and uh, you want to add some other apps. Um, it's in that case, you can go ahead and uh, let me get rid of this. Eh. All right, let me get rid of the multi-window so I can show you better. Um, you will want to go to multi-window manager and add your favorite apps that you want um, that's not on there. Um, so let's say Gmail is not on there. Let me go ahead and edit real quick. All right. All right. So Gmail is not on there, and I want to add it. Um, simply go ahead and click. I hit save, and you'll have to reboot to make the changes. 
All right, and uh, that will add, allow you to add more apps. Also, uh, floating pen window app. Uh, I wrote, I put action memo there, so I'll show you. I already activated this. Uh, floating window pen windows. The one, this one here, where you can draw and have a uh, floating windows. Um, normally, you will only be able to choose these apps, but I've actually added to action memo or any other apps you want to add, you can enable using uh, the Pen Window Manager app. I also have a full tutorial guide on how to install it on any uh, rooted Note 3 over at galaxynote3root.com, uh, so check that out also. And let me go ahead and go back to settings here, some of the other stuff. Torchlight, this is nice. Uh, leave this on, then you'll be able to um, have your phone in your pocket and then take it out, don't touch anything else, and hold down the volume up button for like two seconds, and you'll have a flashlight for 30 seconds, uh, or however long you want to set it, and also it turns off if you um, turn on your phone. And you can set that from 15 seconds to 10 minutes, very handy, uh, absolutely need it. And also, uh, if you want app blocker, um, it does come with add away app here, um, you can go ahead and uh, download the files and uh, disable ads. Now. That might sometimes block some sites that you want to access, so just be careful uh, if you're into, if you work in like technology, a company, um, that might actually block some of your sites. So just be careful. Uh, but for most of you, it should be fine to use it. And also, um, change battery icon. Yes, you can get a ton of different battery icons. Uh, let's go to styles here. Alien blue. Um, my favorite is the box one. Let's see if they have it. I uh, sort of like this cube. So instantly changes there, a uh, gas color, a ton of great uh, battery mods. Uh, so very nice. Um, this is basically exposed app settings here. Like I told you, you can go ahead and run your favorite apps. I'll just show you an example real quick. Um, let me go ahead and uh, there we go. Here's my default email. Uh, since the screen on the Note 3 is super large, let's say I want to run that. Um, I want to run that uh, like in tablet mode. So I'm going to go to my apps here um, and go to my Gmail. Go ahead and turn it on. And I'm going to change the DPI to like 200 or something. And screen, I'm going to set it to 1280 by 800. Save. You might have to work with it um, to get it just right. But I'm going to go ahead and open up my Gmail. And let me actually put this over here. And boom shakalaka. So I've got it a little bit too small there. Um, but you can go ahead and mess with these values. I might make it a little bit higher. And that might make the font a little bit bigger. And yes, a little bit bigger. Um, you can mess with it until you get the perfect uh, out uh, look for it. And you can see I've got tablet mode here. I can access all my inbox, all that good stuff. So you can use that um, to really mess with your apps. Also, let me show you call recording uh, now working on my phone. So if you need call recording, uh, if you did enable the, the call recording module, you'll be able to record calls. Welcome to directory Whoa. assistance. There we go. It is recording and I'm going to stop. And you'll notice that the sound is a little bit distorted. Oh, that's because I had my volume full high. And this ROM also does come with loud, loudspeaker mod, uh, which you can all, also install on any uh, Qualcomm based Note 3. I also have instructions, but this ROM does come with it. Um, if it's too loud, you can go ahead and set it down. But this is great uh, when you listen to like Pandora music or whatever music on your uh, speaker phone. And uh, it makes it super loud and uh, makes it, you know, a lot uh, better to hear. Uh, especially if you're outside and stuff. Um, other than that, pretty nice ROM, no knocks, and uh, very efficient uh, ROM uh, with some customizations like I show you. Um, so definitely a great ROM to start out on. Again, you can install this on SMN9005, T-Mobile, uh, soon AT&T, and also Canadian uh, Galaxy Note 3s. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the Week for the SMN9005. T-Mobile Canadian Note 3s, and do let me know what you think, and uh, I should have more custom ROMs coming, of course. And uh, yeah, that's about it. And as always, if you have a Note 3, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxynote3root.com. Uh, we will update you eventually with uh, one ROM of the week, but we're starting out, so it's going to be like um, maybe a month later we'll start the ROM of the week. Um, but go ahead and sign up. You have nothing to lose. Uh, we don't share your email with anyone else. 
uh, and it's strictly for the Note 3 stuff. And as always, um, don't forget to hit that like button here if you like this video, subscribe button there, and I will see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on Android.